Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, today we're off to Longue Sumer. Uh, there's turrets, there's cannons, there's history, and more than all, there's exploring. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you when we get there. Okay, so we just arrived here. Um, we had a little bit of a, a, a technical issue, shall we say? <laughs> so normally, where we're parked right now, there's a tourist information, parking, everything. Toilets, toilets. cafe, everything. Yeah, but um, I don't know if you can see. I'll, I'll try and show you in a bit. They're actually rebuilding the whole thing. So we just drove up a little country lane to try and find it and had to do the parting of the ocean through some walkers. It was probably about... 40? Yeah, so they were all walking past us, looking at us, wondering where we were going. Turns out we drove past the car park yeah. and just went down the footpath. But it's all good. We're in the car park now. <laughs> um, it's just after lunch, so I think we're probably going to grab some lunch and then we'll have a walk down and have a look at all the bunkers and yeah. see what we can find. Bit of an explore. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> lunch. We've, we've got on our hat, scarf, gloves, <laughs> thermals. <laughs> It's, it's cold. I'd say it's probably about minus 25. Oh, stop it. The car said it was three degrees. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> we are heading over this way, where all the bunkers are. So I'm quite looking forward to today because I like this kind of history. So let's go and see what we can find. Um, one of the only turrets in France where the original guns. Oh, that was that was an approach of somebody who has a fact. <laughs> I've actually written a lot down because there's a lot of information online, too much for me to remember. So this whole site where this battery is was one of the best preserved in France and it's the only one where you can see the original cannon. <clears throat> I don't think this particular one, but there's a cannon that we're going to try and find that was capable of firing shells weighing 45 kilos, which is 99 pounds, distance of 22 kilometers, which is 13 miles. So there's, it's quite cool really. It's, yeah. it's quite interesting to see. It's quite sombering as well, I think. Yeah, I find it quite strange knowing that like, this is where the Nazis were trying to kill the British people. Mm. I'm 
So Matt's just taken some pictures for our Instagram account. I've, we've moved on to the second of the three bunkers that are here, but apparently there are five, but I'm not sure where the others are. So there are, again, I'm sorry, I'm reading it. So this place consisted of four 150 millimeter guns in concrete bunkers and one 120. So I would assume that these three that we're at now are in the middle one of the three would be three of the 150s but we're not 100% sure and we're situated right in the middle of Omaha and Gold Beach. On the 7th of June 1944 the British army managed to gain entry onto Gold Beach and they came and captured all the German soldiers that were situated here. The British Army was from the Devonshire Regiment and they captured 180 German soldiers. I'm going to try and find out um, what happened to them. I think they were all prisoners of war or sent back to Germany. So yeah, it's amazing to think that there were 180 soldiers here manning all of these guns. Okay, so we've had a look in the three bunkers along this way. Um, they're, they're really impressive. It's an amazing place to come. To think that these um, bunkers are all over the country, not just here, but also up towards Belgium. And... Yeah, they go through all the way from the French-Spanish border, all the way around France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Denmark, and then all along the coast of Norway as well. But to think that of all those that are in France, that these are the only ones with their original cannons left, yeah. it's definitely worth coming to see. And it's free. Yeah. <laughs> and you can walk in them and you can look around. The last one that we just saw there was almost completely intact, which is quite incredible. Um, so we're going to take a walk now down towards the beach, hopefully see some bits down there. Um, and then I think we're going to head back to the car and head back down towards town and see what's there. So yeah, let's go and have a look. The sign on the door says it's an ammunition store. So we thought we'd head down and have a look. I know you've been hurt, I know that you're trying. The bus is complaining, your phone's always ringing. Outside there's the cold wind, inside the monotony. Baby, we need an exit from this. Honey, so as you saw, we tried to go down um, into the, um, the ammunition store, but it's very flooded. Um, I did try and get some footage, but it was really, really dark. Even the phone uh, torches didn't really make much difference. So um, we're going to keep walking. I know there's another bunker just up here on the front. So uh, yeah, it's quite interesting to see what we're finding. Yeah, it is. That's where they keep their oranges. <laughs> Okay, so now this big structure that we've just found. Absolutely huge. It's massive. We're just heading down to have a look. But this is the fire directional bunker. So this would have been the bunker that they gave the coordinates for where to fire for the big cannons. So it's quite amazing that this is all open. It's very creepy though. It's so creepy. Whoa. Like very creepy. That's really creepy. Uh, yeah, through that. Thank you. 
Okay, so that was us having a look around the, um, what was it again? The fire direction, fire direction. station. Yeah, bunker. Thing. Thing. Sorry. It said that on the sign, you wouldn't no. believe it. <laughs> um, so that's the last structure here to have a look at. Um, before we head down into town, I guess, go have a look and see what the chateau is and things. I just wanted to show everybody over, it's really hard to pick up on the camera, so I don't think you're gonna see it, but over here, uh, this is the artificial landing bay so i've got some photos from when we went there before so i'll put the photos up now um, but basically this was built by the allied forces because the ships that were coming in here to bring supplies the the draft or the keel was too long for the shallow water so rather than trying to find somewhere deeper they built artificial pontoons an artificial bridge almost that went out deeper that they could unload the ships and then use lorries to bring supplies in it's quite fascinating and i know that we'll be going back there um soon so we will do a video on it um but yeah it's worth it's worth looking at like i say we'll put some pictures up and i'll put um a location as well uh in the description probably a what three words <laughs> so we're going to start heading back to the car now um, and see what else we can find okay so we have come about 30 minutes 40 minutes away um, we we have a sidetracked Bayer. Now we are going to go back there, so don't worry. We will do that in one of our later videos. Um, we just thought we'd finish off this video by coming here, though. So we are in Ceresi La Forat. That's the one. If it's pronounced like that, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll put the name down here. Uh, down here. Down here. <laughs> I'll put the name put down here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put the name at the bottom so you know where we are. Um, but yeah, there's a nice abbey here, so we thought it is closed. It looks like they're doing renovation work. There seems to be a theory a thing with us that we just seem to always come here and places are closed. Everywhere is closed in the winter for renovation and everything to get ready for the tourist season, I assume. Yeah. So we'll have a look around and take some footage and see what we can see. And the sun's out. The sun is shining. Yay. That was a really half-hearted yay. <laughs> yay. Waking up to my heartbeat. Accompanied by the rain, the soreness in my eyes is not very surprising. This room is still uncharted, but as soon as I get started, I'll send you an SOS. I'll wait like it's nobody's business. Give me some time to breathe. Give me some time to speak, cause I know the truth inside. And I promise you this time. So the abbey that's here behind us is dating from the 6th century. So it was built in 510. Obviously it's not the same one. This one is from about the 13th century of Gothic construction. But there's been an abbey on the site since 510. That's quite interesting. And you said it was built by... I don't think it was built by him, but St. Gerbald, who... Um, lived near so, Chateau de Grotto. Yeah, so the Saint Gerbil was the um, Chateau de Grotto, which is the fairies video. I'll leave a link just here. Um, check it out. It's a really, really good video. Shows you the chateau and the, the, the myths and the legends around that. But this place is linked to him. That's quite And we're actually quite a long way away. Yeah. You know, we're probably a good 45 minute drive. So it's quite a long way away considering they would have just been on like a horse. Yeah. And even more importantly, <laughs> sunshine. Because I know the truth inside And I promise you this time No bravado No more strength to pick games Just one motto So we're just by this lake, by the Abbey. Unfortunately, the Abbey is shut until May. I don't know if um, they're doing any renovation work inside there's a lot of cars around um, so we can't go in but we probably will be back later in the spring to have a look around because we know how much i love the abbey 
but we are just walking around this lake all the way around it there are art sculptures I don't know if you can see some just over my shoulder one there and there's one just along there they have all been made by art graduates all over Europe we're just coming up to one now this one's from Germany but we've seen Portuguese Spanish French and also an Italian one that's a really nice place to come so glad the sun's out because it's been absolutely freezing all morning and the fog has finally cleared so we're going to have another look around more of these sculptures let your guard down Call my name when you need a friend No bravado No bravado Okay, so that's us finished walking around. Um, there was a funeral going on in the Abbey, so even if we wanted to go in, I don't think we could have. No. But it was really nice to walk around the park there. Um, got some really nice photos as, as well, which link to our Instagram. <laughs> Check us out, give us a follow. <laughs> Um, I know that next week we have a bit of a fun one. We're going in back to the Netherlands. Yay! So we'll be back on Albatross. A um, few projects to do, but more than anything, more exploring. That's what we're here to do, see the world. Um, so as usual, please consider subscribing. Um, it really, really does help. And it helps the YouTube algorithm, gets us seen by more and more people, which is absolutely amazing. Um, give us a thumbs up as always. <laughs> and ring the little bell and that'll notify you when our next video is out um, so until next friday we will see you all then see you in the netherlands bye, bye.